Camille from Me Paintings and today I would like to share with you easy fluid art tutorial which anyone can do. So let's dive straight into it. So these are all the things which we'll need for our fluid art project. The most important thing is pouring medium, which is from Dale Rowney. It's called Pouring Medium System 3 Fluid Acrylic. Then this set, which comes from the same company, it's called Acrylic Introduction Set. Also a silicone oil, which I will use in one set of colors. I will be painting on canvas panels, which is from Strathmore. And then you need some plastic cups, measuring cups, spoons, table cover, and that's it. So we can start. Firstly, I'm going to mix my paint and it's very easy. Anyone can do it. The label says to mix one part system three fluid color to five parts of pouring medium. So let's use this beautiful magenta paint and I'm going to mix 10 milliliters of paint. So that's 10 goes all in cup here. So that was 10 milliliters of paint. That means I need to add 50 milliliters of this medium. That's 25 plus 25. Now I'm going to mix it up very well. It takes about 30 seconds till everything is mixed properly. And I also mix another set of magenta color and I'm going to add silicone oil in this magenta. I'm going to use this silicone oil from System 3 Fluid Acrylic and let's add two drops of silicone oil in my other magenta. That's one, two or three. Let's mix it up five to seven times. And I'm going to show you the difference between fluid art without silicone and fluid art with silicone. So meanwhile, I'm going to mix another colors, titanium white, blue and yellow green. Paints are mixed, so now I can start pouring on my canvases. And I'm using these small canvases for our demonstrations, which are thin. But if you'll be doing this on a bigger canvas, I recommend doing it on canvas with wooden frame. And these paints are just a mixture of paint and pouring medium. And these are paint, pouring medium and silicone oil. I want to show you the difference between these two paints. Let's put these cups here and I'm going to pour the same color scheme in each cup. So I'm going to start with white on the bottom. Then magenta. Blue. green and some white on the top. And here's the most exciting part. I'm going to use a technique which is called flip cup. So I'm just going to put my canvas on the top of this cup and then flip it like this. Let's do the other one as well. Wow, look at this beautiful lacing. Ooh, now it looks quite similar, but when I tilt it, this should have much bigger cells. So let's tilt it everywhere. And I'm also going to tilt the second one. Now 
this one has got these tiny lacing or tiny cells and this one i think will grow a little bit more and it will have much bigger cells with the silicone oil so i'm gonna let these dry for about two days and then i'm gonna show you how it looks when it's dry it looks like some kind of space theme and look at these tiny cells so gorgeous and this one is with the silicone oil so it has got much bigger cells and it's also very interesting and this is the dry version of my pores this one was with silicone oil it turned out beautiful the colors got a little bit darker but they are very nice and shiny and this one was without silicone oil and you could also turn this into some space theme but personally i love it the way it is thank you for watching this tutorial i hope it was inspirational for you i wish you all loads of success with your art projects bye